Oh my goodness, that's good. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back to Drinking with Craig and Roger. I'm Craig. I'm Roger. I am genuinely excited to do this video today because we have three inevitably delicious Jack Daniels rye whiskeys. It's amazing. You know, the number of rye whiskeys and the popularity of rye whiskeys has expanded dramatically in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. And Jack Daniels, uh, noted for its Tennessee whiskey, is now producing a rye whiskey. Oh yeah. And it, it, we have three of the versions of it right here. Yep. One is bottled in bond. Mm -hmm. One is a single barrel at 94 proof, which means they've added some water when they bottled it. Yep. And then the other one is a single barrel at barrel proof, which is 130 proof? Is yeah, it? It's up there. It is 135 proof. Whoa. So it's a big boy. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting. And uh, I've never tried, neither of us have tried the Bonded Rye, which is a new product from them. We really liked their Bonded Tennessee whiskey or bourbon, basically, uh, that, you know, came out last year. And I believe this year, this is a new product. Excited for it. Should be good value for the money. Um, I have had, really, I've only had a taste of one of their other single barrel rise before and it was a barrel proof and it was mind-blowingly big and delicious so <laughs> very excited and i know that uh, your bottle shop in athens makes good picks so this should be a tasty one absolutely so why don't we start uh since we're going to try the whole line obviously we'll start ah uh, looking at strength it makes sense actually to start with this one the single barrel but i kind of want to start with the bonded because it's the most affordable and accessible in the line. Okay. So why don't we start, we'll still start with the Bond, even though it's a little stronger. Okay. There we go. Wow, so the nose, there's a lot jumping out at me already in the nose here on the on the uh, Bonded Rye. Yeah. You got a tiny bit of that signature banana that some people get from Jack Daniels, but uh, definitely some sweet candy bar-like uh, smells. Uh, some typical rye notes. But a little bit of youth. Um, after mm -hmm. all, it's bonded, so it's got to be four years old at least. Which is pretty good for a rye, typically. Yeah. And if they, they want to keep the price down, they don't want to keep aging it. Uh, so. Mm. But it's nice. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mmm. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on there. It's a big flavor. Yeah. Wow. That's um, it's a lot for a first sip of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a, a really nice mm -hmm. caramel sweet body. Mm. Um, I I can taste a little bit of uh, spice like cinnamon, you know, in yes. the, uh, in the overtones and the finish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I got a little bit of my, your trademark husk of the grain in there. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot going on. It's kind of hard to parse out into individual flavors. And look at that. What are we looking at? The legs go pretty much up to the top of the glass. Okay. Which means it's got enough thickness that it's going to stick up there. Yeah, an oily enough body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It sticks pretty well. Very syrupy. Um, yeah, a little bit of youth. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It... it it wouldn't hurt to have to be aged another two years, I think. It wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. wouldn't hurt, but I think this is a good starting age, at least. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I'm getting, I'm like tasting their charcoal mellowing, you know? I don't know if they do the Lincoln County process on this, probably. Well, um, that's a good question. Um, I don't think they want to tell you about that. <laughs> we'll, put, we'll put down uh, below us right now what we find out, if we find out anything. Okay. <laughs> Well, that would be In all lieu of, of research ahead of time. We'll do research after the fact. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I am 100% sure that all three of these bottles have the same mash oh, and yes. are distilled to the same amount. Yes. And were put in very similar bottles, but they were not all in the same 
warehouse in the same place in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So they age a little bit differently. And this, of course, is the only one of these that is a blend of different barrels. Yeah. And this is, I think about $35 typically is what you're gonna find it, very good price. Uh, there's, it's interesting. I'm, I, for once I'm having a hard time putting it into words, what all I'm smelling. I'm coming back and getting I, different I, things. I, I think it's called goodness. <laughs> Goodness! It's yeah, we smell goodness. It sounds it very goodness. sophisticated. Uh, it's complex, you know. Um, overall, I would say the flavors aren't my favorite flavors. While it is sweet, it, it does have a definite dry edge to it. I think. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of uh, bitterness in it, mm -hmm. a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's got some bitterness. Yeah, if, if you want to be want to be more sophisticated, we'll say quality. That's what you're tasting. It's a bit of goodness. Quality. I'll just say complexity. Complexity. Well, yeah, it is not that simple. And no. it, is, it, it is absolutely fine to sip and pay attention mm -hmm. to oh, yeah. in itself. Yeah, I, absolutely. In fact, I probably wouldn't put this in a, a mixed drink. A little myself. too good for a mixed drink. I think yeah. so. It's, it's nice. Yeah, that cinnamon is starting to pop out at me now that you mentioned. A little bit of orange type of citrus. Uh, it's, it's good. I mean... This would be, I, I'd definitely be comfortable buying this again. Mm. Mm. And I wouldn't wouldn't be shy about serving it to a guest. It's pretty nice. I don't think it blows me away quite as much for what it is as the um, bonded, you know, Tennessee whiskey that they do. This is a good start, but I'm also interested to come back to this because like I said, it's kind of complex. So it might be tasting um, a little different to me here in just a little bit. Okay. Well, I just so. checked out while you were talking yes. and there is no age statement on this single barrel. They don't put an age statement on much of anything outside of their bonded and then their age stated uh, 10 and 12 year bourbons. It's pretty hard to find. Well, one of the reasons I'm pretty sure is that if you're talking about single barrels, <laughs> there are places in the warehouse Mm. that age a lot faster than other places. Yes. And so they they may pull a barrel that's three years old, but it will taste like a barrel that's six or seven years old from a different place. Yeah. So they, they don't want to, they want to sell it by taste. They don't want to yeah. sell it by age. And I think I, I heard someone say at some point that Jack Daniels claims none of their barrels are over five years old, typically, something like that, five or six years old, but... People find it hard to believe. <laughs> it is pretty hot in Tennessee, and the Rick houses go pretty high. That's right. So it could get get those qualities pretty quick. So let's move on here to the uh, single barrel. Okay. Right. Ninety four. Just a little bit step down in uh, proof, but not very, not too significant. Oh, but the nose is significantly different. Much sweeter, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. The the, the youth is, and is not 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 as a, and still not a little bit, but it's not as significant. No, yeah, I, I, I totally see what you're saying. Yeah, it um, definitely uh, smells a little more mature. I, I can't smell and it well. That I've got to taste it. I'm not. <laughs> oh, that is. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. Yes, this is um, nice. Yeah, everything is oh. is really well balanced. Yes. Uh, and it has got a nice body. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, finish. Uh, boy, I'm, I'm getting the upper tones of the the, uh, the sweet caramel. Yes, sweet caramel, finish. almost creamy on the finish. Uh, it doesn't seem to have as much spice as the other one. Definitely not as much spice. Uh, it doesn't have the bitterness. And I don't think it has nearly as much what I would call typical rye notes to it in terms of herbal, um, green type of things uh, and spices. It's, <laughs> it's a smooth, sweet, rich... Sipper. This is what I think of when I when I get excited about Jack Daniels Rye. It's because of this. Oh yeah, it's it's very nice. And I would, um, I know that most of you are not going to be able to get this particular barrel anymore <laughs> because they sold out of it. Yeah. But there are other barrels mm -hmm. that are chosen just as carefully and, and bottled about the same way. So whenever you find one, I get would it. pick it up. Yeah, yeah, I I recommend. I mean, I haven't had one of their single barrel products like this that I have not thought was great. So the cinnamon, 
Yeah, that similar strain of cinnamon is coming through here. Yeah, it's coming through. It's not quite as strong. It's I more would say balanced. As, than, than, than this the is bottom. not as what I, what I described as complex as the bonded, but it may just be because some of those uh, less desirable notes aren't coming through. Uh, do you remember how much uh, this one was? Do you remember how much you paid for it? <sighs> not offhand. I'll I have think to, they're I'll, about forty-five dollars, like maybe that, yeah. forty-five to fifty range, something like that. No, not to, not exceedingly much. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. We'll we'll post the prices down below on our after research. <laughs> uh, so now I hope you're strapped in and your taste buds are ready because we're getting punched in the face by sixty-seven point four five percent alcohol. Single barrel, barrel proof rye. Well, I've, I've got my seat belt attached, so okay. I, I don't have the one over the shoulder, but. Wow, already, cheers. It, cheers. Uh, the smell, you wanna talk about husk of the grain. Oh. Jeez. Well, you know, I, I think everything should be much more intense than any, either of the oh, other yes. two. Oh. But it's, it's got, be, is... I, I, I don't detect the youth in this. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't have a youthful nose. But boy, it does smell hot and big. And a lot of like, like you said, mm. husk, like a raw element of grain. It kind of smells like a field. <laughs> you can see candy the field. field of rye. A field Waving of rye, yes. In the breeze. Yes, now let's, let's drink the whole field. Well, at least a small part of it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's good. Woo! <laughs> Wait you know what? It doesn't even taste hot. Mm. Well, I, I think the legs on this one are not only up to the top, but they're over the side. <laughs> over the side. It, it, it is eating through the glass. <laughs> well, no, not really, but but no, this is actually it is surprisingly like well balanced. I can't believe how well balanced it is. And and uh, yeah, you're, you're right. It's got a very heavy body compared to the other two. Mm. Uh, but it's very you know, mild to the taste. Really. It really is. It's wow. This is shocking and super concentrated flavor. I mean, wow. This is impressive. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the uh, the caramel center is is wow. Yeah. And and I, I feel a little warmth, but I don't think it's youth. I think it's just the amount that's there. Mm -hmm. So sheer concentration of of alcohol and flavor wow this is awesome there's that cinnamon note again the same the same lineage throughout all the bottles yeah it becomes more evident when you sip it further the first sip well that's i think with almost anything you're mm. going to sip it takes two or three mm. to begin to, to get the subtleties in it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Woo! Oh man, that's good. You know, Golden raisin. Yeah. Um, so many different things. Really hard to put into words. <laughs> Regular raisin, golden raisin, toffee. Yeah. Now, why not let us taste backwards here? Let's just revisit the the non-barrel proof version of the single barrel. Hmm. Comparatively, so delicate. It's it's a much much it's got milder lace. milder under yeah much milder, <laughs> but but then again, you know uh, the flavors are more a little more open. You know, uh, it, it, to me, it's more delicate and floral now yeah. and yeah. refined. It's wearing its lace gloves and uh, you know, mm. um, it's still really good. Cherry, a lot of cherry notes are coming out to me now. Oh yeah, mm, cherry and some oak. So it's making it taste more like a bourbon to me in comparison. And now, back to the bonded. A little rougher edge on the nose. Yeah, it's, I would say, I, you know, I, I hate to say, I'm a little disappointed in the bonded rye. To me, it, I feel like over the single barrel, <clears throat> I know it's cheaper, it's like $10 less or so, but I feel like it is adding 
a little bit of youth and alcohol, but not flavor. So I feel like I'm not getting any more actual flavor out of it than this one, but in a way, a lot more noise. Um, I don't think you're gonna find this hitting number one on the Whiskey Advocate. In fact, I know you won't because I've seen the most recent year. But um, well, that's all right. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, whiskey doesn't have to rank number one to be a very fine drink. No, you're right. You're right. This is a, this is a perfectly good. This is about as high as you want to go with a blender, I think. But it's priced as one you could buy for a blend. But perfectly good to drink neat by itself. The single barrel is really good. This is really good, and the single barrel barrel proof is. The big mamma jam, a big boss man. I love it. And this one's my bottle and these are his. So, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm keeping this one is what I'm saying. Okay. Because well, this is, what do you think? Well, I got twice as much whiskey here now. <laughs> you got the volume. So, so I can, I can enjoy it longer. But I don't think. But at this strength, I, I only have you to drink you, half as much. Yeah, well, I, that's true. And, and you don't want to drink it very fast either. No. So, you know. This is, this is phenomenal. I definitely recommend, if you haven't uh, given them a try, you have got to try some of the Jack Daniels Rise. And I think you know the ones that we are going to recommend. All of them. <laughs> All of them. But in particular, if you can spare, um, you know, another 10 to $25, definitely recommend checking out one of these. You will not regret it. I think you will be pleasantly surprised and impressed. And if you like what we're doing, yes, like us and subscribe mm -hmm. so that you get a notice whenever something new comes up. And until next time. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. And we know you're already wearing your Depends, so don't have to worry about that. You can depend on it. <laughs>